Good morning, kinders. Happy Tuesday. Let's hop right in and get started with our jobs for today. You have six of them. The last one's math. The first five are about language arts. Your first task today is handwriting. Get your name there at the top. You'll notice I wrote name in print this time. And then here's your sentence today. So I told you we were going back to look at truth, goodness, and beauty. Today's about truth. And it says truth is that which really is. Okay? Truth is that which really is. It's the opposite of a lie, right? It's what really is. Okay? It's true that the sky is blue. It's true that your mom loves you. It is true that Jesus died and rose from the dead. All of those things are true. Some of them you can see. Some of them you can feel. And some of them you can just know because you have all these things to back it up. Like the Bible and people who died for the faith and people who wrote about it in history. Okay? So truth is that which really is, one time in print, one time in cursive, and then you have three sight words today, is, that, and can. So you want to write them all, print, cursive, print, cursive, and then come back and make sure you can read them without sounding them out. That's your first task today. Your second is the half of your Ock family we did not do yesterday. So if you did the whole thing yesterday, great, you can skip this go to something new. If you did not, we are going to do the fill in the blank part and cutting and gluing, okay? So I'm going to go to number one first, so you can follow along with me. It says, I will something on the door. I will something on the door. The answer to that is knock. And remember, knock has a silent K. If you remember the story, Knuffle Bunny, the K should be silent, so it's knock. So on line number one, write knock. Knock. K N O C K. All right, that's number one. Now we're going to go to number two. Here's what number two says He will play with the something. Something on here is something we can play with. Block. So number two should say block. B L O C K. That's number two. Now number three says, did you something the door? And that should actually have a little question mark on it, but it's missing that because it's a question. Did you something the door? Lock. So L-O-C-K. That's number three. Okay. Number four says, I have an orange something. You could say sock or you could say cluck. So I'm going to say, or smock. I'm going to say sock. I have an orange sock. Although it would be silly to have just one, but we're going to write sock. So that's number four, sock. Number five says, the boat is by the, a place where you leave boats is called a dock. Make sure it's a D, not a B at the beginning of your word. Dock, okay, that's number five. And the last fill in the blank is the blank, the something is gray and hard. The rock. So we're going to write rock on number five, six, excuse me. Rock on number six, the rock, okay? So I will write all of those in order quickly. So if you missed one, you can go back. Knock, we'll play with the block. Did you lock, orange sock, dock, and rock. Okay, so if you need to freeze that, there they are in order. Then you are going to cut your words out and glue them in alphabetical order. They're in the right order today, so we're going to go left to right and top to bottom. So block, you find block, cut it out, glue it at the top, okay? That is your second job. Your third job today, you will need a white piece of paper, fold it in fourths. We are going to draw and write four words today, okay? And you can put these in a sentence if you wish. So. Here are your words. This is a dog. D-O-G. 
Your dog doesn't need to look like this, but you need to draw a dog in one of your boxes. The next also starts with D. This has four sounds. D, eh, 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 big elephant, E, S, K, S, K. This is not an X because X goes K, K. This is S, K, D, S, K, okay? Milk, this also has four sounds. Mm. I, o, k, milk. And this one also has four sounds. You can draw some big lips. O, I, p, s. Okay? So we're going to sound those out. So I'm just going to pick milk. Okay? Draw a quick carton of milk here. It's kind of like our 3D shed. And I'm going to write milk. Now, maybe that's all you want to do is write the words. If that's all you're ready for. That's okay. If you want to put that in a sentence, you can say the, with a capital T, milk is cold. Today you can pick your own adjectives, okay? The milk is cold. Now I could say the desk is big, okay? The dog is cute or good. And then the tricky one will be lips, because lips, you wouldn't say the lips is, you would say the lips are red, or the lips are big, okay? So you could even say all of them are big if you wish. The milk is big, that's kind of silly. The dog is big, the lips are big, and the desk is big, okay? That's your third job. Your fourth job is a sentence in your black book today, and it's about something that the Greeks did. So we are going to be learning for the next two weeks about what's called the ancient, or I mean, excuse me, not the ancient, the golden age of Greece. That means the best time when all these wonderful things were happening. So a lot of their creations, their favorite plays, and then they also did some really wonderful things with their government. So the Greeks invented democracy, okay? So what I'm gonna do is get out my black book and draw my line. And then my sentence says the, capital T again, Greeks invented democracy. And that is a kind of government where everybody gets to vote. And remember in Athens it would actually mean only the boys who were citizens, but we say everybody gets to vote. So nowadays when you're 18 you get to vote and that means what I think matters, and what my husband thinks matters, and what my dad thinks matters. So every adult gets to vote and say, this is what should happen in our place. So I'm going to draw a couple little Greek guys casting their votes for yes or no, okay? And I'm gonna do it in a funny way. They would actually go to a place called the Forum, and they would take their votes, and they would, the men would go sit there and talk about things, okay? But I'm gonna have them doing it a little silly way. So I got my little Greek guys going on, putting them in their sandals. I'll show you in a second. Hope you're pretty good at drawing your little Greek guys by now. Okay, here they are. And then I'm gonna have them all have one arm hanging at their sides. And then I'm gonna have the other arm up because they're gonna be holding up a thing that says yes or no. This isn't really how they do it, but that's how I'm gonna do it. So, you see one arm's down here, and then we got one arm up, and they're each gonna be holding a little thing that says yes or no. Yes. And I'll have this guy, the last guy, holding one that says no. Okay, so there's all their votes. They're saying yes or no, we don't like that law, we do like that law, okay? I'll make my yes guys happy. Give them hair, maybe beards. Make them look Greek. Okay. Then I'm gonna make my last guy upset because he does not want that law to pass. All right, so you have all my Greek guys casting their votes for their democracy, okay? Then you can go ahead and color them in. Remember, you don't have to color their little togas. 
because they are white. All right, there is your black book. Your fifth job is reading. And then your last job, we're gonna practice counting money again today. So, I think it's a good idea. If you have your old coins, great, get them out. If you have real coins, even better. But if not, I made some today and I'm going to put them in a baggie and save them so I don't have to make them every time. Because I keep realizing this after I throw my old ones away. So I have made pennies and I colored them brown. I have made nickels, remember those guys are five cents. And I've made dimes. And I have 10 of each, okay? Then I'm gonna put them all in a pile and mix them up. And then you're going to get a piece of paper again. And I want you to divide it in fours. And you can either count four handfuls of money today for practice, or if you're really feeling it, eight of them, okay? So I'm gonna show you, I got my paper folded. I'm gonna pull a handful of my money. So mix, 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 and then grab a handful. And I'll tell you what I got. So here's what I want you to do. If this was my corner of my paper, I'm gonna do it on my whiteboard so you can see it better. First, I would sort my money. And remember, dimes always go first. We wanna count dimes first, and then nickels, and then pennies. So here's what one part of my paper would look like. I'm drawing my coins. So pretend this is one part of my paper, okay? This is my paper. This is one section of it. Now I've got all my coins drawn that I, that I picked up, okay? You don't want too many, but you don't want too few either. You guys are getting better at this, so you don't just want a couple. You want at least five coins. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay? Now I'm going to count them, starting with tens. 10, 20, 30. This is the tricky part. 35, 40, 45. 46. So I have 46 cents. Okay? Now I could do that four times on the front of my paper, or if I'm feeling it, I can do it eight times. Parents, if nickels are proving to be tricky, this is starting to push them to a first grade skill, so you can certainly just do dimes and pennies. If they just practice dimes and pennies, it will be easier for them, and it's still getting them in the groove of counting tens and ones, which is really important. If you can throw in nickels, great. Okay? So again, you can do it four times. On the front, make sure you draw the coins you have, then you can push them back in the pile, mix them up and go again. Or if you're really feeling the challenge, go for eight times so that you get even better at counting your money. All right, quick recap, here are your jobs. Handwriting, half of your AUC family, your words that you need to write and put in sentences if you wish. Remember, they all have four sounds except for dog. Your black book saying the Greeks invented democracy reading, and then counting some coins. That's it for your Tuesday. I love you. God bless you. Goodbye.